This is Neil Cash, NPC News Online. We're here at the 2021 Mr. Olympia with your champ, 212 champ, and new Derek Lunsford. Derek, finally, yes. finally, it happened. How you feeling, brother? Well, first and foremost, can I ask if you could uh, just <laughs> yeah, we'll bring, bring it down bring just it down a little, little bit? <laughs> No, all jokes aside, um, I don't really even know what to think right now. I'm just uh, praising my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's all I, all I could think about because, man, I couldn't do it without him. Um, uh, I obviously couldn't do it with my coach, Honey Rambot. He has made a world of difference uh, in my physique and my, and my mind as a professional bodybuilder in this last, last year I've been working with him. So I, all thanks to him. And uh, I have such an amazing support of family and friends i i don't even like to call them friends you know it's like it's my family you know it's like uh, i have a tremendous amount of love from all of them they they're the ones that are my backbone i couldn't do it without them i swear to you so shout out to everyone um back at home jelson my my fiance after of 11 years we're getting married i couldn't do it with you without you babe i love you so much um what am I thinking? I don't know, man. I, I don't even know what to think. I'm just, I'm, I feel grateful and blessed. I, I, it, it's not set in, but I just, I'm just thankful that I even get to be here at the Olympia. And the fact that uh, I'm walking away with the title, uh, oh, it's surreal, man. Uh, I, I respect all the other competitors greatly. To be honest, I, I wasn't sure if it was, if I was going to take it home today. Uh, Sean looks great, and um, Kamal is great, and, and they're champions, and. Um, I don't know, man. I'm just thankful. That's it. I, That's I'll it. tell you what. You guys stole the show today. All right? uh, Kamal looked fantastic, obviously, but you and Sean really brought it. It was just like it was. I'm so he, proud of that dude. Seriously, I said it last year. If it wasn't me, I'm I'm happy for him, man, because he's a great dude. Seriously, he's a good dude at heart, and uh, he represented the sport in the 212 last year tremendously. And I, I had nothing but respect for him as a man and as a professional, uh, as a bodybuilder. It's like. Look, man, um, and that guy returned the favor tonight. I mean, he's been nothing but gracious to me tonight. And it, yeah, oh yeah, man. So I have to give it to Sean. Like, and he pushed me. And he, you know, I'm not gonna say that, that I wasn't sweating a little bit today. Maybe not sweating here, <laughs> but I was uh, sweating a little bit this after prejudging because I knew that guy brought it. And and uh, I'm so proud of that dude too. So. All right. So let's give a little recap. So 2017, you turned pro, right? Yes, USA, Mr. USA, right? Yes, sir. Okay. After that, we you you won your first pro show, qualified for Olympia, placed fifth if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, right? Uh, yeah, fifth. Fifth, then the next year second, yes. And then second, Flex Lewis. Flex Lewis. And then Flex. Flex. He's an amazing, amazing champion. The best of the best. He's the greatest of all time in the two two twelve. Oh, for sure. And then okay, Flex retires. The next year, you're the heir apparent, as everyone's calling you, right? And Kamal got you, right? Yeah. Kamal I, looked great. And you I slipped. think I got myself too, though. Let's admit because. You know, I, the, the last couple of years, I, I just wasn't, I wasn't me, man. I, I knew I wasn't me, and, and I was focused on things that shouldn't have been focused on, and I should have just been focused on myself. Kamal, yes, yeah, he definitely won that year, 2019. He, he was a deserving champion that year. Sorry to interrupt you, brother. No, you're fine. So then, so then that brings me to 2020. You dropped, right? You dropped a fourth. So then this year you come and bring an incredible package. That's what I was getting at. What changed? Uh, I've been, like I said, I've been working with Hani Rambod since last year. Literally was talking to him like right here actually last year. Uh, I think it was this right here, this setup. Uh, we just heard. I was. I came backstage to congratulate Rami uh, on on his win, his victory last year, and um, something told me to come backstage and, and tell him congrats. And, and in the meantime, I spoke to Hani, and he, you know, he was interested in working with me to, to help me out. He, he see the potential in me, and and I thought, my gosh, like, do I, is this really happening right? It was meant to be. <laughs> yeah, man. And so I said, okay. This was this was uh, definitely meant to be, and let's um let's take this opportunity and not and not let's not take it for granted. So I started working with him. He changed things tremendously this year, physically, mentally, as a professional bodybuilder. I got baptized five five days ago, and that's been another big thing. Is like I said, my family at home they've they've definitely kept me grounded and kept me spiritually strong too. So spiritually spiritually strong, physically strong, and mentally strong. All right. So what's next for you then, Derek? So like now you finally got the title. Yeah. What are you gonna do? Well. Looking at Honey Rambod right now, I, I have to. Uh, bring, you know what? Bring him in. Come on in here, honey. Yeah, like, you can go in here. Come on in. I'm gonna have to talk to him about this one. You know, so he, he's asking. What's, what's, what's next, next for Derek, honey? You know, what's next for Derek is he wants a nice all-you-can-eat buffet because this poor guy can eat more than Jay Cutler, Phil Heath combined. That's probably true. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah. don't let the the hype fool you. This is, all right, so question for Honey, real quick. So, obviously, this year game changer for Derek's physique, right? He looked night and day better. 
I mean, what, how was it working with Derek? It was, it was absolutely insane because we had two less months from the Olympia to Olympia. We met literally 10 feet away from where we're standing right now, right across the way. December last year. Yeah. December. So we hooked up here, Sean Ray, a couple of others. Uh, who else was it? that? that uh, uh, Tarek Gandhi, I believe. Yeah, Tarek. A couple people were like, hey, you need to get a new coach. And then he came up to me. And again, a lot of people come up to me about coaching. But then I said, hey, man, here's my number. We can talk in a couple weeks. And, and, and he followed up. And then it was a really cool conversation. And, uh, and on top of that, he was looking for a new sponsor. So it ended up kind of just working out. But I said, look, man, I am a, I'm an asshole. I don't not like I'm not easy to work with or for you know it's, I'm I, I chase perfection so you're gonna have to learn how to be able to deal with that and you're gonna have a little bit as we thin your skin you're gonna have to have tough skin and tough thin skin but at the end of the day I, I I learned a lot about his personality about a lot of things that he did or didn't know while he was competing I didn't know he only had done four pro shows before this one so it's crazy so he's had a really good amount of success but I do think that we need some refinement and get him on stage more and be able to really chisel in and season his physique. But with him getting together with me in Dallas and me in California and training with me and showing me that he is willing to put in the work and putting the efforts, cross his T's and dot his I's, I was convinced that he could take it to the whole other level and possibly win the show. So I said, hey, look, at the end of the day, you gotta do the work. I'm not gonna be with you 24 seven. I'm not gonna watch when you're dieting, whether you're cheating, whether you're doing less cardio or not doing cardio or not doing those extra sets or reps. But in the end, he did every single thing I asked him to do. So, obviously you two like, are a great team now, right? There's been rumblings of Derek moving up, right? So I know it ain't no secret. Everybody's talking about, hey, he needs to move up, he needs to move up. Well, now he won, though, you know, so it kind of changes things a little bit. So what, what's your response to that? Should Derek move up or not? Yeah, I think it definitely changes things because now we want to be, you know, once the champ, you want to try, you want to keep the cat, you don't want to be, you know, continue to keep being the champ. So definitely would say that the odds are in favor of coming back for this title again. So right now, you know, if, if there was a, an issue with size, conditioning, whatnot, and we couldn't be able to nail it un under the 212, then there was a high possibility we'd move up and see that different package, a different look that we'd like to generate so that we can get a more impressive finish. But at the end of the day, with what the judges liked and what people were have been clamoring about this new look, I think we can get it even better, work on some body parts, and I already know exactly what I want to work on. And for me, actually, um, to go off of that as the athlete, you know, I've always wanted to go open. Don't don't get it mistaken. But at the end of the day, I trust in Hani, and I know that he has a great plan for me. And so, to be honest with you, I just keep telling him, like, all I want to do is just keep getting better. Whatever that means, whatever I need to do to just keep getting better, I'll do whatever it takes. I've always done what it takes. He knows that now, you know, and uh, I just, yeah, that's it. I just want to be the best bodybuilder I could possibly be. That's it. It's awesome. Well, congratulations, both of you guys. Whatever, honey, there's another one. <laughs> here's another one to add to the list. 20, 20. 20. Goat talk, folks. Goat talk. And, all right, any last words you guys want to say? Uh, I just want, just want to say thank you, everybody that's supporting bodybuilding, even during COVID. Thank you so much. Thank you, Mr. Jim Mannion, for keeping everything moving in the right direction and growing this industry. Thank you, Tyler. Thank you, JM, the whole Mannion family, as well as Dan Solomon, Jake Wood, everybody, the NPC organization, the IFBB Pro League. I, it, it, I wouldn't have a job if it wasn't for you guys, especially you, Big Jim. So, again, you, you, know. get the, you get the last word, brother. Ditto to everything he just said, as well as Steve Weinberger. Thank you, too, as well, so much uh, for all that you do. Um, man, I, I feel like I've said it all already. I, I probably haven't shut up, to be honest with you, and that's probably what I need to do. So thank you so much to everyone out there who supported me, supported Hani, supported Evagen, supported the, the whole entire industry, the IVB Pro League, NPC, Mr. Olympia. Again, we couldn't do it without the fans of bodybuilding. I'm still a fan of bodybuilding. I'm a fan of the, the physiques that are on stage, even if I'm competing with them. So much respect to them. And um, let's just keep building camaraderie in this sport, guys. We can only do this together. It is a competition on one day, but ultimately, we should be doing this together. So let's come together, let's support one another, and let's all keep getting better every day. Derek Lunsford, Honey Rambot, Neil Cash, NPC News. We out. Hey, congratulations again, brother. Yeah.